In this video, I will show you how to calculate the mean, median, mode, standard deviation and the coefficient of variation. I have chosen in my example civilian labour force data for 2014 for two states in the United States of America. And you'll notice for Arizona it has fewer counties within its state compared to New Jersey. That's okay, we're dealing with two data sets and we just want to calculate these measures of dispersion, the mean, median and mode. So let's look at first off um, how we might calculate the mean. And remember the mean is the average and it just tells us what the average, in this case, the labor force is, civilian labor force is for each state. So in order to do this first, we need to get the number of states. And it's quite easy to look at this, maybe count them up, but let Excel do the calculation for us. So we need a function equals count. We'll open your bracket and for Arizona, we click on the first and scroll down to the last, close your bracket, and we have a count of 15. New Jersey, how many counties? Count, open your bracket, highlight and scroll down, close your bracket and press enter or return and there are 21 counties in New Jersey. To find the mean, we will do one of two methods. For Arizona State, I'd use the first method where we'll get the sum or the total of the civilian labor force for Arizona and I'll divide it by the number that we've just found, which is 15. So equal sum, open your bracket, Highlight and scroll down, covering all numbers, close your bracket, and we'll divide that, which is forward slash on your keypad, and we'll just highlight the cell where it has the number that we might need, 15. And we'll just press enter or return, and we'll see that the average civilian labor force in Arizona is 206,042. The next method for calculating the mean, and we know the alternative word for mean is average, we just press equals average, open your bracket and we'll scroll down from the beginning to the end for New Jersey in this case and we don't have to divide this by the number 21 because Excel already takes this into consideration once you've used the word average as a function just press return and for New Jersey we have 215,177 uh, labor force uh, civilians now the median is another average the median is essentially the middle number so if we were to line these, say for example, if we were to line Arizona State from the county that has the lowest labor force up to the county that has the highest labor force, which is, which is Maricopa County, we'll identify the county that is in the middle of that list, and that's known as the median, and we'll take that number. And likewise with New Jersey, we'll go from the lowest to the highest. So we don't have to rank these from lowest to highest. Excel will do that for us using a simple function. And you probably guessed it, it's equals median. Open your bracket, click on the first, drag down and highlighting all your numbers that you need and don't forget to close your bracket. We press return. And we see the median is 50,978 and that happens to be, forgive me if I can't pronounce this, Conchise County or Cochise County. Okay, even though it's the second one listed there, based on the alphabetical listing, it's actually the median labor force for Arizona State. Likewise, we can do the very same for New Jersey. Again, it's just equals median. Open your bracket, highlight and scroll down, closing 232, which in this case is Burlington County. Okay, third in the list, but Excel has rank those from lowest to highest and identify the middle one. So the median is just a halfway point. Mode. The mode is the one that occurs most frequently. Now I doubt that Excel will give us an answer for the mode here because based on civilian labor force participation, based on the list here, I don't think there's any number that has repeated itself. So the mode is the number that occurs most frequently. So say for example, if you had a list with and numbers ranging from 1 to 20 and the number 10 happens to be repeated mostly say five times the mode in that list would be the figure 10 but anyway let's check out and see what excel gives us i reckon it'll be they won't give us anything at all equals mode yes that's real fine so at least we did a calculation and um, it's not applicable which is just telling us that there's no modal frequency for this example.
likewise with New Jersey. That's perfectly fine. Okay. With smaller numbers, you're more than likely going to find the mode. Standard deviation. This is just tells us how much a deviation exists between a in, in this example the values or the labor force values to the mean that we found earlier on. So a deviation is just like how much a, a difference occurs between one county and the average figure found for that state. Okay. So again, a simple formula. Will be given uh, for in Excel. We highlight the same figures for Arizona State, and we find here a quite a large standard deviation. Okay, so that's unusual, and that the standard deviation is typically would typically be a fraction of the mean, and my possible explanation for such a high standard deviation, which in this case is almost 500,000, is due to what we call an outlier, Mar Maricopa County, which is almost 2 million in terms of their civilian labor force. So that's an outlier that tends to drag up the mean toward that value of 206, because there are many populations here that are ex considerably low relative to this high, uh, popula high densely populated county. Let's see if we get such a high number for the standard deviation for New Jersey. Okay. So we've 132,319, which is about half or more than half the value of the mean. So they're opposing in terms of the two uh, states here. My only explanation for this compared to Arizona State is that you have a lower standard deviation because the counties in New Jersey are quite similar in size and they're quite close to the mean. Whereas the counties in Arizona State, there's more deviation that's going on relative to the average. And if you look, if you eyeball the data, you see there's numerous counties in their hundreds of thousands. Okay, and that's supporting this mean and the standard deviation, which is lower for New Jersey compared to the standard deviation for Arizona State. One of the final calculation, the coefficient of variation. Now, the coefficient of variation is not necessarily good as a standalone, but it's quite useful when you're making comparisons. So at least we have a comparison here, Arizona State with New Jersey State. So to calculate the coefficient of variation, it's simply the standard deviation divided by the mean. Okay, and I'll explain what this actually refers to once we have found it. So knowing this formula, I'll just put in equals, I'll open my bracket, click on my standard deviation, and I'll divide that by my mean. Now you can multiply this by 100%, which I might as well do. 241% and the coefficient of variation. Again, the standard deviation divided by the mean. And that's about 61.5%. So you see there's considerably more variation going on for Arizona State than there is for New Jersey. And that's my explanation that I just mentioned a minute back, whereby the counties in Arizona State, they tend to have wide ranging values in terms of very low populations, labor force population, to the extremely high one, which is Maricopa County, of almost 2 million. New Jersey, on the other hand, the coefficient variation is a lot smaller, all because the counties such as Atlantic, Burlington, Camden, they're all quite similar and then you have the low ones, Cape May and Cumberland, again relatively sim similar in that type of group. So thanks for watching this video, I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, here's a link to the where I got sourced the data, I'll put it down below in one of the links. And check out my other videos, I'd really appreciate it, why not subscribe? And I'll be bringing a lot more videos your way.